For the final projects in data management, you are required to create one major table that has three factors, three measures for whatever it is that you are studying. In this case, I have the countries of the world and my three factors are purchasing power parity, international dollars, inflation rate as a percent and murder rate per capita. I would fill my three remaining columns with three measures and then create scatter plots with each factor against each measure and determine the strength and correlation of said scatter plots. Now, when we're pulling information from the internet, here we have the murder rate. Now, we need to get the uh, information sorted based on that main entity that we are studying, in this case, the country. So I just click on the country column header and it will sort. Again, it will not do that in other browsers that are not HTML5 compliant. It's easiest to go to the bottom of my data set, copy up to the top. Also, immediately at the bottom of the data, you will have your citation in APA format right here. Copy, paste into your written report. It's been formatted for you. So I go to the last country in my list, start with my data there. Scrolling up to the top is easier than starting at the top, scrolling to the bottom. Copy, control C, move to my spreadsheet. Now, if I select paste, that information shows up, but it has been formatted as HTML links. Sometimes there will be images that appear here. I do not want that information. Control Z to undo. I will always select paste special and then just text. Now I get my information in two columns, country and murder rate. When you have a column title that exceeds the width of the cell, do not make the column wider. Instead, make sure that the, those column titles wrap. Sometimes you get the information into your spreadsheet and extra data comes with it. For example, here I have purchasing power parity and you can sell, see that in the cell I have a number and some text data. I want to separate that number from the text data. I know that it's text data because if I perform a, a mathematical function on it, the result is zero. In this case, I can use data text to columns. Excel will recognize that these columns can be delimited or separated by a special character. Click next. That special character in this case is a space. When I click on that, it's going to separate the number from the word per from the word capita. And it does so by separating that information into three columns. I can now delete the extraneous information and check it does indeed produce a number one of the problems that can occur after you've done a text to columns operation is that your pastes will work differently I still have in memory the information that I cut from my web page and if I paste now using paste special You'll see that the country names and the numerical data are not in two columns. Those countries that have a space in them have been separated into separate columns. This is a bit of a flaw. It just means that you have to go back and do another text to columns operation and remove the space as a delimiter. So I go back, highlight a row, select data, Text to columns, next, remove the space as a delimiter and finish. Nothing happens here, but when I go back and paste special, my country names are in one column. Another problem that can occur when you paste your information into a spreadsheet happens here. I have the inflation rate, 
where it appears to be numerical. My first clue that it is not is that everything is left aligned in this column. Numbers typically are right aligned. So if this is not a number, it must be text string. And if I click inside the cell, you'll see that there's a space character, a percent, and then digits. Now I can extract the numbers from that using a function. This function says, take the information that's in cell D2, the left part of that, for a length of what is currently in cell D2, minus two characters. Those extra two characters being the space and the percent sign. Copying that down, it appears that I have the numbers. But again, they're left aligned, which tells me they are strings. I will use a function called value that takes a text string and converts it to a number. Fill down. My numbers are right aligned. Now, if I try and remove the, the extra data from my spreadsheet, I end up with zeros. The problem is that this column, F, was calculated based on the information that was in D and E. So if I remove D and E, I have a problem. So the last thing I will do is copy the information from this column, select Paste, Values, and when I do, I can now remove the three columns that I previously had, and I am left with one column of numerical data. Once I have all of my data in the spreadsheet, or I can do this one column at a time, for example, I have the country in column A, Purchasing power parity in column B. The country again with its murder rate. I have to make sure that each line in the spreadsheet contains data for the same country. For example, if I go here to Bangladesh, I can see that its purchasing power parity is not on the same line with its murder rate. So I start at the top. I would most likely try and have the one variable that has the most data first. So my purchasing power parity, I had the most countries for that variable. I started with that. I added the variable murder rate because there are fewer countries for this information. But I will now adjust or move the data so that I line up the variables. I see that the first country that does not line up is here, Angola. So I would highlight these two cells, select insert, it automatically shifts the cell data down so that Angola now lines up. Do it again. Now I can cl click on the insert again or I can use control Y which repeats the last operation sometimes a little faster. Control Y again and again until I am satisfied that my data lines up. My final table will look like this, where there will be spaces where data did not exist for a particular country, but each row will be the variable or the data for the six variables for that country. In the end, when I go to create my charts, start at the bottom of my table. Now my information only goes to East Timor, but I can highlight two columns of information. Select insert, scatter plot. I would now have to format my scatter plot, adding a title and axis variable names. Add a trend line with a coefficient of determination.